A very good evening, dear esteemed viewer, and welcome to our today's edition of Citizens and the Law on ABS Television, Channel 2 for Oka, Star Times 113, and Metro Digital 29. Citizens and the Law is a program aimed at demystifying all issues standing as strange before the gullible has and leprosies in other words. It is a program aimed at letting the citizens know their rights, defend these rights, and become law-abiding citizens. In our today's edition of Citizens and the Law, we are going to look at parties to a crime. And with me here in the studio to get the I's and the T's dotted and crossed and vis a vis a provision of answers to all the questions is the controller prison in Southern Brass State. The person of Barista, Emmanuel Anekwe Mwakeze. Council, you are welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Well, that's a very good one, Council. You are a lawyer and you are heading the prisons in the state. And that, that's just the topic we have today. Uh, without wasting much of our time, uh, Council, can you highlight on this topic what does it take to be a partner in crime? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, viewers. Um, I will, uh, although I will uh, be legalistic and I will be less legalistic yeah. in the sense that when I, when I look at it from the status and then I make a general explanation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you look at section 7 particularly of the Criminal Code Act mm -hmm. that are in use in the southern part of the country, yeah. that section 7 was very explicit on what parties to the crime is. Yeah. Yeah. You say when an offense is committed, each of the following persons mm -hmm are deemed to be parties or shall be guilty of the offense mm -hmm. eh? when charged. One, every person who actually does the act mm -hmm. or the mission which constitutes the offense mm -hmm. at the first, which means anybody that did the something himself or herself mm -hmm. or refused to do things that will make an offense to be committed. Mm -hmm. That is one. Then, B, every person who does or means to do anything and for the purpose of enabling another person to commit an offense, yeah. which means you now need something to assist another person to commit an offense. Yeah. Another one, everyone who aids another person in committing the offense, you assist somebody to actualize the commission of an offense. Mm -hmm. And then and the final part of this, anyone who counsels, you give advice. You are maybe someplace and then you, you advise somebody, give him way, uh, encourage him to do, mm. commit an offense. Okay. These are, the, all, the, all of them are deemed to have been parties to the offense. Committed when an offense is committed. Uh, uh, Council, yeah. uh, if we could come back to our mother tongue. Yes. Because we have the literate and the illiterate Igbos. All of them are watching us. Okay. Can you come back home and, uh, okay. and repeat what you just said now? They were in Dubai. 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 They of na eda iwu na ndi na ewe na adali ubu onye obu ya mere mo onye nyere onye ozaka we me mo onye nyele ndu modu eji we me mo onye gosile onye ozuzo osi we me ndi ani ne ke we no fon abu ndi dali iwu to ni dai wo bri fufu mad na ndi ka ni ko onye oshi na onye eji moti ya we bujo onye oshi for example no onye so wezu mo bu no na ona acho obu obu tel mbube eji wa ligolu no Mob no so, Baka Baka Puzo. When you cause this visit, Ori. I tell you never, I will not just glory. On our committee, you dally, or so, you know, you have another ladder. Okay. Uh, we'll be dancing between English and Igbo language. Uh, okay. You just mentioned somebody who uh, made his vehicle available for robbery. Yes. Now, let, let's look at it this way. Okay. Somebody's car was snatched. Okay. And the person is forced to remain in the car. Okay. And the robbers used the car with the person forced in the car, inside the car. Okay. And they went out and do some robbery or car snatching. Yes. Eventually, both the owner of the car and the robbers hmm. who snatched both him and the car, they were all arrested together. Okay. How is this person now going to get involved or is there any way he could be exonerated? Because he was there in the car, not money that the car is his. Uh, I see. Uh, uh, the truth about it is that mm. for crime that actually to be committed, mm. 
the law must look at the two elements. Yeah. The mens rea and the actus reus. Yeah. What is the mens rea? The, the intention. Yeah. And then the action. You know, you know, that man that will carry you, that they use his car and kidnapped in his car, had no one, he has no, if you look at it, he lacked these two. There's no mens rea, he didn't have any intention to do it. And there's no action on his part. So in actual sense, if the investigation is diligent, it's not supposed to be liable. Very good one. If the investigation is diligent. Yes. Yeah. Can you come the other side again? Okay. Uh, if uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, there is another example. Uh, somebody's car was snatched from the rightful owner. Mm. The person actually is not in the car this time. Okay. And at the end of the robbery, the robbers were arrested. And the identification to the car and every document were in the car. And the police might go ahead to arrest the owner of the car as somebody who may have donated his car for the robbery. So how do you look at that? It still needs investigation because if you look at it from that scenario, if somebody actually donated the car, he will not likely leave his documents there. Okay. If actually somebody has criminal intent. So but what he needs is, as I said before, is diligent investigation to be able to separate the Paul and Barnabas. So it's not, if there's a good investigation, somebody's car, and again, it is also the host on the person whose car was snatched to make a report. Because if he had made a report or that uh, he lost his car, his car was snatched. That is very important. When you lose your car, your ID card, whatever that is, all those things that may incriminate you in letter, it's important that you make a report to the police. Within what period of time? As, as soon as possible. Okay. As soon as possible. The, okay. the nearest available time for you, you report. That's why also it's good. Like when you bought motor now to go to Enugu, for example. It's also good if possible, get ticket. Mm. Because that ticket at times may help you. Mm. Maybe tomorrow somebody uh, will come and arrest you, say the, you we are drinking at Aroma when you are in Enugu. That ticket alone will speak for itself. Okay, I don't know. Yeah. I don't I Afuzie he de kawo akukwa mota ha ha wole ebe onya ha bi wo chonya ha je ngudie ihe njura kita mo onya ha aka yo de no shi a ezuru eh uh, before you could answer me that in Igbo language mm. i want to let the people watching us to start making their calls and ask some questions that is why of course we are getting down to speaking vernacular uh, the numbers to call are there on the screen Starting from 070, or rather starting from 090 729 72090, 090 729 090 729 72090. The other one is 070 627 24192. Let's know if this caller is, uh, we can get him. Hello? Hello? Hello, yeah. What's your name and your location? Okay, you want to speak in Igbo? Go ahead. Can I be said, what? Yes, you are a boy. 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 You are a 
นะเขาก็รู้สึกว่าอะไรว่าหนอนฉันจะมันลิ้วกินอันเดียวแล้วก็เป็นมาได้เยอะเลยเขาเลยยกเลิกดูหนอนฉันเลยคุ้มจมันอันดับที่สองวันก็จะเป็นเจ้าตัวนี้นะโบสันเดอันนั้นเราสุดที่จะมาด่าเรามันที่เราดีจะบุตรเราพิเวกันอันนั้นเราเรียกคุณพูดเราไม่ได้คิดคิดไปเราอยากกันเลยแต่พวกนั้นก็ไม่ได้อยากมาเลี้ยงเราเลยอยากกันดีวันที่นั่นดีเลยพวกนั้นเป็นเจ้าสาวเด็กสาวเนี่ยเป็นเด็กมาดูเพราะเราหน้าบ้านอะไรก็ได้แต่ที่เราที่เราอยากดีวันที่เราไปอาบุปผาลุงเราไม่รับผิดชอบอย่างไรเพราะอันเดิมมาเรื่องที่เราต้องเสียเวลามาเลี้ยงเราเนี่ยมาพิเวกแต่คิดตาคิดตาเพราะนี่คือการเกิดบุญกับการเกิดบุญที่เราอยู่ในอาคุตานี่อะไรนะ Aya gota gifi neku, nambo isenande uoji, nandi nenyi haka, na hana bombo, una hanguike, wana tuzia kani muhende magase na sosa, mwa hobo, aga abo ndu uoji nandi nchiko bado nalia, aga mwelele, usakua wuna Amerika, aga mwelele umo ihede anga kwenye magase, mana kanso, kifu muri kune. I think, thank you, okay, dalori ne, chibo. Enkisi zibu na governmenti na bokondo humbo. Ifa ine kuna ngo governmenti amagulu. Ande kana kwa gita na aingwa le joint patrol team nonecha. Bain patrol team yeye akazi lawfu. Makai hana maya manacho ala na iye bi onecha bengu bengu kona ngwe kona bangwe. Ana anya bain te gugu. Gita na undi allu cheni na 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 nambra bokola kong. Ngole if nika ina na ya bume bendi ami ma bendi zibu defense ma bendi. And then we have a joint security movie about three vehicles not operating. Not operating. Not operating. But not the most people. We can do two or three or more. So she will work in the green. Oh, I got an abambo makia. Oh, we need to raka. I got I got. We test in the engine. We go in. Even in the engine. In the engine. We come in. In the number. In the engine. We can go. 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 In the engine. Kwa kwa msa to kwa nata kwa la msa ni baadhi wa fafu mwa na kabu luna na eba na dawa isi ya juu hoi mwa njia usona bakuwa hello hello ya ya hello ba tu nata turn down the volume of your TV set so that we can hear you. You might have to call back. We couldn't get you now. Uh, what I ask you in Igbo language, when you jimoti a jury, mercy for akonya ha adukwa here jemudi. Can you use another pogonya again? Family now, I'm not being back. This year, I care. The onya na limoti ya, but when you resume, because if you make mercy, make a new oji. Mandi onu chemara, na na kwele moto na basi do tana na limoto. If na obno mbele mercy, mo oge nyeli aka, mo kaka juwa jidi. Na muda yangu yuko kasi, na mposi deni na na njia onya kwa kwa nipo na ana le moto. Aji baba ndo hugo, oge njia laki juu zopoto mwe, mau bankete, onge le kodi, upasa moto, upeni ni 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 fiyo posti lidi dugi, ego ika moto, ego mosaiko, ego radio, ego handset, mwe receipti jige. Ada mama. Hello, hello, hello. Aha, kada fari na ebi. Good evening, kada fari na ebi sabo. We are hearing you. What's your name and location? Nibo kada fari. Francisco Bianondo. Francisco Bianondo. Nguo juu 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 Francisco. Francisco Bianondo. Aya nugu juu 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 Francisco. Ana meke ne, uke ne kanto uke ne. Dalo. Dalo. Nimo 
Okay, uh, thank you very much, Francisca. I think I'm going to extend these commendations to Harona, the PR of police in Anambra State. Uh, so, there is the viewer, you are watching Citizens and the Law on ABS Television, Channel 2 for Oka on Star Times, so on free, and Metro Digital 29. We have to embark on a short break before we continue. Yeah, Council, you see, uh, security work without equipment is like pursuing a snake with bare hands. Yes. And I want to say that all these commendations coming to the Nigerian police force in Anambra State has to do with support of the state government vis-a-vis -vis equipment and all that. Yes. So what's your comment? That is very correct. The governor has been wonderful in support, mm. and, uh, including like, providing logistics and all that support. Yeah. And that has uh, catalyzed. Mm. In the achievement, you see, the, the, the achievement is, is tremendous. All the bad people, including the people, the killer of the PG of mm. Nemo, and the, yeah. even the one that in Nemo, in Enugu, we are all arrested by Anambra police, and so on, oh, among uh, the of other security agencies. But the one that killed a traitor sometime in the yes, past? Yes, no, he's already, already in custody. Okay. So, it's true. The governor has been wonderful and very supportive. Hello? Hello? Yeah, good evening. Hey, good evening, sir. Good evening. Can I find an ABC? Oh, your name and location? Either way. I'm calling from Omaoro. Okay, what's your name? What's your name? I'm calling from Omaoro. What is your name? We've had your place. You have the address. I'm calling from Omaoro, sir. Can I find Okay. I'm educated. Okay, Buka. Okay, Buka. Ask your question in English or Igbo language. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Joba, go ahead, go ahead. Hello, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Hello. Hello. So, what to go on. Hello, sir. Go on. 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 Go
Hagana Dego, the music for you, I got a little bit of the table for the So, Nigeria police, they like money. Okay. Uh, the, the young man is saying that uh, uh, Nigerian police force and some other security agents has to work morning, afternoon, and night, and that people who travel uh, uh, requested to submit some money before actually they embark on anything. Uh, but I do think that you've said already that uh, all the enforcement agents are doing a combined work to ensure yes. a safe environment that all people can exist, not only there. Yes. Nuke and cranny of the state. The state and they, they are, they, from the number of arrests so far made. So, we, what we are you replying to him? What are you telling the young man exactly as regards the OP worker situation yeah, I tell, I've and the that the of the police? Yeah, after the OP worker situation, I tell you the security is already beefed up. Okay. But I'm happy he gave the information. I will also relate to my colleagues. Okay. Uh -huh. the more action will be taken to ensure that the whole place is uh, taken care of. Okay. Uh, okay. For that of the police, I don't want to say much. The police, the policeman is a Nigerian. Yeah. And it's not only the police that, that takes money. Virtually every Nigerian, if you go to school, even in, even in primary school, they will tell you to bring this, bring that. We know these things. That's why we are praying for a better Nigeria, for everybody, not just the police. Uh, even the policeman, if he, he takes his child to school, they will collect money. If you, you go to some other offices, you have the money. Even in the banks, if you, if you give them money, they will give you your know, bail is free, but uh -huh. it's not free. So I don't want to actually <laughs> lock it to the police. It's, it's a slighter problem for every Nigerian. Let's, let's get this caller. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Okay. Uh, Even in the church, if you are not paying your tithe very well, you may not be a good, a good Christian. Uh, uh -huh. So but let's just, nah, I don't want to have issue with anybody, but that's the truth, Nigeria. Hello? <laughs> God will help us. Hello? 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 Yeah, hello, we are hearing hello. you. Go ahead, your name and location. Hello, hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Your name and location. Keda Fare Mwabibi, sir. From Francisca, from Nibo. Okay. Francisca from Nibo. From your... Nibo, the same Francisca, Francisca. Okay, Francisca, go ahead. Yes, I called again. What your uh, volume TV? Uh, we can't uh, finish. Okay, for sir. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, the police need to be ubiquitous this time. But I know it is only God that is ubiquitous. Uh, what do you have to say? Because um, I think, uh, the commendation uh, first, then this one. Uh, thank you. I think for her to agree that there's areas they are getting it right. I am happy for that. Uh, well, the truth is that the police, you know, if you check the number of the police, that we have in a number of states, mm. or in Nigeria totally, uh -huh. is not very easy to police. And that's why the police, uh, they, 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 they combine, even with the total other, other security agencies, mm. the number is still is not equal to what will actually do total mapping of all, this, all, all the areas. Yes. But yes. as much as possible, I think the security agencies are doing their best. Uh, I know, I agree there are lapses, but these lapses are, they are being worked upon. Okay. And very soon, we will see some changes and improvements and the agencies may have heard what she said it doesn't mean that nothing is happening as Even regards policy yes exactly hello 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 i'm, I'm coming from hello. your name your name first hello. your name and location get out for the abc your name and location. Okay. 
uh, council who and who is or are principal party or parties to an offense okay yeah um like if you look at the nigerian law mm. so that's section seven I yeah you know that in that section it said anybody that he participated in one way or the other who counsels who procure who did the act who did, who did the mission mm -hmm. who encouraged another person mm -hmm. to commit an act all of them are deemed to be parties mm -hmm. uh, that is situation was also in the english law if you look at the english law particularly the accessory and diabetes act of 1861 in england mm -hmm. that what he did was you participate you participated in any in the commission of any crime mm -hmm. you are deemed to be a party and you are punished equally mm -hmm. but later that law was amended in 1967 mm -hmm. where they now a kind of group regrouped principal parties and secondary parties principal parties to first degree and second degree as it's called mm -hmm. in that law mm -hmm. okay and by that if you look at it now when they are now talking about principal party that kind of the person who actually like maybe a group that pursuing somebody mm -hmm. now in the process of that pursuit somebody used a cutlass and then kill the person that person they now deem that person to be the place but the person that actually brought did the injury that actually killed or maimed the, the, the person. Mm -hmm. That is regarded as a principal party. And then those who maybe procure accessory, who maybe somebody who hit the man on running when he's running after the commission of the crime is deemed to be maybe accessory after the fact. Is mm -hmm. it, that such, such a person may be regarded as a secondary party. Yeah. Although there's one case of Bashara and the state, a Nigerian case. In that case, a group of people were pursuing a man. Mm. And in the process, one of them, they were using stick, one of them carried his stick and stabbed him. Mm. In that law, that law, that in the, in the, the court held that since all of them were pursuing him, they have formed a common purpose with the intent of to, to cause harm on the man, that all of them were found guilty. But in most of the time, when somebody is after the commission of the crime, the party may be deemed as a secondary party. Mm. Okay. Hello? 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 Yeah, your name and location. Hello? Hello, what's your name and location? Hello? We are hearing you. Uh, are... This is what? This is Eze. Okay, Eze. Edith. Edith Eze, go ahead and ask your question. From Oka. Okay, Edith, Edith. Eze from Oka. Ask your question. Ask him, can uh -huh. I want to be a up you work a kind of Kumakia, Oboro. Please, madam, uh, the government of Anambra State is doing the much they can to checkmate hoodlums, criminal criminalities, and anything that has to do with disorder. I think they are doing their best, and some people are commending them for that. So, all these things will be take, attended to gradually. I don't know if Castle, do you have anything to say there? I think uh, you have said it. You've, you've said it. Uh, you've said because, it. And uh, the truth it. is that uh, uh, Edith, uh, thank you for that. Uh, for that information, uh, that information will be relayed, and we are going to use it. I will let the police know and other relevant agencies and uh, all other people that are participating in keeping the security in Anambra State. Yeah, they will be worked upon. Uh, you know, actually, you know, these criminals initially they were they, they, they were uh, as if they are subdued, but you know, criminals will never give up on time. Of them, they will rear up ugly head, and the security is beefed up. And now, I think very soon you will see the number of arrests. Very soon, we will continue arrest, arrest, arrest. And, and the, the commission of police is well, doing a wonderful job. Okay, the civil defense and all that. Assistance. Okay, there is still you are, you are still watching Citizens and Below on ABS Television Channel 24 Oka on Metro Digital 29 and Star Times 113. And with me here in the studio is Barrister Emmanuel Anekwenwakeze, the controller, prisons Anambra State. Uh, let's embark on a short break. We'll be right back.
Okay, sir, uh, what happens in a situation where Mr. or Mrs. KYZ hide a person or persons to enable them escape punishment? Where one person or more hide somebody or maybe persons just to enable them escape punishment. Okay. If you look at it, one, they have common intention. They have a common intention? Yes. And okay. That, that common intention led to that uh, person that committed crime to escape. Yeah. And the implication of that is that three of them are parties to the level test and accessory after the fact mm. of that commission of that crime. Mm. So three of them are on the same pedestal. Yeah. They had common intention. They executed that common intention. Mm. That's enabling that person, that enabled that person to escape. Mm. And they know, they, had the, they, they have the foreknowledge that this person is committing a crime. What if the armed robber, so to say, is uh, uh, the relation who harbor him or her, may not have the idea that this person is into armed robbery? And he, uh, and he comes him. into the house and uh, past, past a day or two. And he's aware. The, the, because you know what? The, the person may not be aware. No, if he's not aware, you see, one thing with the crime, Mm. The crime cannot be commission, committed without intention. That's why when I was talking about mens rea and actus reus, mm. there must be intention and action. Yeah. These two things must be complete in any crime. Mm. If the person is the mother came, maybe a relation come to your house to, to take to say you are, maybe it's personally want to greet you and you want to, see, and he's not aware, he's not liable. Unless there's a shady investigation. But these days it becomes difficult for somebody to be exonerated from. An offense he or she is ignorant of. No, it's not difficult. Nigerian because remember, Nigerian remember, 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 remember that uh, Section 35, I think, of the Evidence Act was very clear. Is very clear mm. on who who asserts. That's incriminating. He who asserts has mm. to prove. That man that said you are a thief or you participated, he has to prove. Mm. And you know, in criminal liability, they cre they they prove they prove is beyond the reasonable doubt. It's not as simple as <laughs> proving several ma matters. Uh, okay, sir, can you enumerate on the criminal responsibilities of parties to an offense? Yes, I think indirectly I've said it because the criminal responsibility depends. Mm. The, one, one thing you must know, there must be intention. Mm. There must be action that make... But it but requires that somebody can be an innocent agent. Mm. Let me give an example. Somebody now wants to burn a house. Mm. He brought an imbecile and said, like, he, like, he said, go and put fire on that place. The imbecile now took match, a box of match from him and or her and then set fire on that house. Mm. The, the person that committed the law will hold the person that procured that imbecile to commit the crime. Is the imbecile now above the law? No, it's not above the law. Has, because of this ingredient of Mens rea is not there. Yeah. He is, he's not aware of what he's doing. Or oh, a mad person. Or oh, a small child that is, has not reached the age of reasoning. Yeah. So these are. Uh, uh, but at times, also, somebody can also be vicariously liable. Yeah. Like maybe you have a. a, 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 a maybe let's say, let me give an example now. Yeah. A manufacturing company in Anambra State. Mm -hmm. Maybe Olympic flour mill. Yeah. And then in the process, their driver, or Dango, let me use Dango, that is very, mm. then Dango, the driver now comes to this thing and jump, or maybe run into somebody's house. Mm. You, will, you will sue the driver in addition to the principal. The principal is, was not there, but the car is because because his agent. The liability of the agent is on the master. What if the crashing in is not intentional? Whether it's intentional or not, if it's, even if it's whatever method you follow it, you must first of all hold him, let him now explain that it's not intentional. Okay. Uh, but the liability will now go beyond the, the person that was in the, the same, But however, there's an exception to that. If, for example, if you look at the uh, Coca-Cola company, they will write in their motto that this is meant to carry uh, owner's goods only. Mm. The implication of that uh, notice is that maybe you, you have a bag of corn and then you stop uh, the driver, he carries your bag of corn. Mm -hmm. If in the process there's an accident, the law, the, because of that, uh, that uh, notice there, the liability will only be on the driver because he's not on the mission of his master. 
He has left. He's now on frolic of his own. The master bears no vicarious liability. Responsible liability yeah. Yes. Okay, now uh, we are now looking at uh, the juvenile aspect this time. Okay. If, for example, a juvenile is used okay. towards assisting the robbers, okay. these robbers are arrested together with the juvenile. Mm -hmm. In the course of punishment, can the juvenile be involved? Yes, he'll be involved. The juvenile, unless the juvenile is such a, of the such tender nature that he has not to But if, let's say, a 16 year or 15 year old boy, he joined in the robbery gang. No, bring it down to eight, eight, nine, ten years. Um, eight, nine, ten years. Yes, ten years. You see, you see, be held responsible. The only thing is that in trial of ju juvenile, the law seems looked at him as a vulnerable. Mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. and because of that person's variability is not proper to try him in the normal regular adult court. let's know if you can get this color and that was okay hello 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 okay let's go ahead mm -hmm. that was the what uh, that's why the 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 adversary of, I mean, the, the right child act made provision for the procedure mm. safeguards in trial of adults mm. i mean uh, of uh, juveniles mm. so that he will not be tried in the regular court there will be a juvenile court mm. he will not be possibly remanded with adults there's supposed to be an institution where the juveniles are remanded even though in anambra state that's but the governor is working assiduously to provide his, uh, the, the, a place has been procured the governor is now trying to put structures there so that the juveniles in Anambra State can be detained separately from the adults. If we should come back to five, six years, because I've seen okay, five, six years. within the social media mm. where a woman just standing by the road mm. asked the, the child to go and bring some other woman's bag. The okay. child did. Okay. And they zoomed off. The child is not liable. This is what I mean by innocent agent. Okay. He's not aware. He has, the, he has no intention. Okay. Even though there was action, there was no intention. And therefore, for a crime to be committed, there must be both action and intention. Okay. So that child is not liable. He, I, I classified him like this. person I looked at him, uh, the very small children, children of very low age, have mm -hmm. not reached the age of, uh, they are very minor. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's not liable. The, the liability goes on the woman that procured that child. We see urge you to ask questions even though we are coming very close to the end of the program. Do so on 0706272492 or 0907297090. The numbers are clearly written on your screen. All you need to do is to tune down the volume of your TV set whenever you want to make this call. So, uh, sir, you have been talking about uh, something about uh, assisting somebody to commit an offense. Uh, is doing an act to enable someone commit an offense, the same thing as assisting okay. that person to commit an offense. Are they punishable? If so, why? I said, doing an act that made somebody to commit a crime may not necessarily, it may, but in some cases it may not necessarily mean yeah. assisting the person. And then I was giving an example of mm. maybe in a yard of a block of flats, mm. the gate man was surrounded by uh, under gun, with a gun, mm. and then he said, it, "The gate man was the armed robbers. They want to attack a yard, yeah. and then they first of all subdue the gate man. Yes, they gone at gunpoint, yeah. and say, lead me to the to the flats.' flats. Yeah, the gate man by that action is doing an act, act, but is he assisting? He's not assisting. He's under duress. Yeah, he, he, so you cannot bring him under. Uh, there will be no liability for him." Because he has no, he has no intention to do what he was doing. I will put this color. Hello? 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 Hello, yeah? Tune down. Hello? Tune down the volume of your TV set. Hello? 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 Your name and location? Hello, yeah. good evening. What's your name and location? I'm sorry, sir. Okay, ask your question. Onodugo from Enugu. Yeah. Okay, ask your question, Onodugo. But tune down. My question 
monitor. Turn down the volume of your TV uh, set. Like this, like. Go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. We are listening. Uh, like in this case, you said that people like uh, adults are still children. Are you hearing? Yeah. We are listening. Go ahead. Like there are still students who go for robbery. Yeah. The adults, the adults that go for robbery, like these people that used to go and kill people. Okay. Is comparing using children to assist people in robbery? Is it the same thing with the adults who are also using robbery or things like that? All of you, I think that may be what you ask. It depends on the nature of the children. The children of what age? Because the age and the level of the ch child is important. Yes. <laughs> if you maybe, I, I, don't, I don't think somebody will use a very small child for robbery. Robbery is a, a hard job. Mm. This uh, running and so on. I don't think the people you must use must be up to. It's always mere ten. stealing. Uh -huh, mere stealing. But to the real robbery, if you look at it, it must be those uh, teenagers, more so mm. to say. Mm. Uh -huh. So, and those people that are reliable. The issue, whether they are tried in a different court okay. and taken to a different institution is immaterial. The important thing is there is punishment for them. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, back to what we are uh, 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 enumerating on as regards. Uh, uh -huh. So I was saying that in that case, enabling someone to commit an uh, offence. That person now that uh, the undergone, uh, 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 the the man who is assisting uh -huh. robbers, uh -huh. uh, uh, who is uh, now leading uh, the robbers, forced him hmm. to go and uh, open or knock at the doors of tenants. Tenants, yeah. That get man is under duress. He cannot say he is a, a party to the robbery, but he's under compulsion. So the law will look at it from that angle. He's more or less an innocent party. He has no intention. Remember, this year when I was on that road. Yes. But the other man who assisted, like uh, somebody, they get man. If they get man, for example, on the other side, the, the man had told, they had told him that we are coming by 12th. Leave the gate. Don't, don't bolt the gate. Mm -hmm. Don't bolt the gate. And then if there's a ladder that is uh, 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 lying down, stand the ladder so that we we'll climb over it. That one is assisting the robbers okay. to commit. If he is a party. Okay. Is it because he's, he's a party? He's a party. He's an accomplice. <laughs> Whole and entire. Yes. So there is things you are. This is we are. We draw the curtain on our today's edition of Citizens and the Law. It has been a very good one with uh, the controller of prisons and Ambra State, and talk, that is talking about Paris Emmanuel and Ekwemwakese, and the topic has been parties to a crime. Sir, I want to say a big thank you for coming to honor this invitation. Thank you very much. Until next week when we will be coming back with another interesting package of the Citizens and the Law. My name is Jude Maskot of Biago, the presenter of the program. Bye for now.